Next, we will talk about some measures to reduce uncertainty. So first one is called a diversification. So in the financial market, you will use the way called diversification to share the risk. So say you won't put all the money into one shares, rather you will buy two shares. Then in this case, the expected value of the diversified portfolio is equal to the share of stock one times the returns of stock one plus share of stock two times the return of stock two. Okay, so it is well diversified. This is equal to the expected value of the diversified portfolio. So assume they are the same. Okay, assume that the first share equal to the second share. So if we take a look of the variance, okay, we will get alpha one square plus. this term so if we assume again the variance of one equal to the variance of two we will get one minus two alpha one plus two alpha one square times sigma one square so if we want to find the share of in share of investment that minimize the variance we will get alpha one is equal to one half that means if the risk of two shares are the same, we should evenly distribute the wealth into these two shares. So in this case, we can diversify the uncertainty while keeping the average unchanging. Second is the option. So option is a right to sell a shares or a right to buy a shares. So if you don't buy the options, if you are given two shares, you will get the maximum of the expected utility of the share A and expected value of the share A2 okay so if you don't want to use this maybe okay so this is equal to the expected return of your share so if you don't buy option this is the result and if you buy the option okay so if the stock is performing well you can buy the share at the strike price and if the stock is performing poorly in a2 you can just ignore it okay you you just don't exercise your option then if you use the option what you get is the expected value of the maximum of the utility so clearly the second one is greater than the first one so that's why many people are willing to pay the price to buy the options okay such that the expected value of the maximum you the return of share minus the cost okay is still higher than the next position so this is how investor will diversify the portfolio to reduce the uncertainty so finally, let's talk a special case of the economics of uncertainty. That is the demand for contingent choice. Okay. So here we try to don't add the probability concept. Okay. So here we are going to maximize the utility as a function of WG. WG is the wealth in good time. So if it is a good financial return the, the wealth so WB is the wealth at a bad time so this is equal to the pi probability of having the good time plus 1 minus pi the utility of the ex of the wealth at bad time okay so the budget constraint here wealth is equal to PG PG is the PG times WG okay PG is the amount you pay that it gives you one unit of wealth if finally the state is good so you know at the uh, tomorrow you only have two states good or bad okay so if you want to ensure tomorrow you have one unit of wealth you can buy one PG times WG in this case if tomorrow is good you will have one unit of wealth then plus 
the PB probability of bad time because you have some probability that tomorrow will be bad, okay, mm -hmm. times the wealth of bad time. So in this case, you can ensure tomorrow you have a double units of wealth. So if the market is efficient and at the equilibrium, PG will be exactly equal to the pi and PB will be exactly equal to the 1 minus pi. Okay, so you can see the MRS is equal to partial V, partial WG divided by partial V, partial WB. So this is equal to PG divided by PB. So this is the equilibrium condition, the MRS is equal to the price, and the MRS is equal to pi over 1 over pi u prime wg over u prime wb okay so if the margin at the equilibrium marginal benefit should be equal to one okay so this division should be equal to one or wg should be equal to wb if this is the socially optimal Okay, so if you want to draw in the indifference curve, so you have two states, WB and WG. So if, okay, if the wealth in stage bad is lower, you need to have higher wealth in G to compensate. So this is the indifference curve of the trading the wealth in good time or bad time. Okay, and the budget constraint is like this then in this case you know the 45 degree line will separate the wealth equally so we call this line a certainty line that means if the rule is certain then in this case no matter what is the state tomorrow your wealth will be the same okay so this model can use to inv in investigate the insurance market. So say if you have another person, okay, the utility is more curvature. So more curvature utility means it's more risk averse. Then you can see that, okay, if in st stage B, the bad time, you have a chance that your wealth will reduce the by H. Then you can see for the green one, if you are told that you have a chance that your wealth decrease to W minus H in bad time, for the U naught guy, less risk of risk one. So his rings will accept it in this level. Okay, you just need to pay me this level, then I'm going to accept this risk. And for the more risk averse one, you need to add compensate the wealth in W2 so the this the distance difference between W1 W2 is the measure of how the risk averse level affect the compensation level